you seeing this video is definitely a sign from God. It's time for you to feel motivated. It's time for you to get where you're trying to go. It's time for you to get back on schedule. It's time for you to start feeling yourself, loving yourself again. It is time. I want you to be able to go into this new year feeling happy about where you are, feeling great in your own skin, just leveling up, becoming unrecognizable. It's time for you to exit out of your lazy girl era and get back on track. And I'm about to tell you guys steps to get back on track. This is just gonna be a really transparent video. The beginning of 2023, I was getting out of high school. You know, I said, oh, I'm not going to college. I'm gonna, you know, work on my social media. Everything was going good. I was growing consistently. Everything that I believe that I want is happening, but for some reason, I'm still feeling lost, alone, like I'm not feeling accomplished, I'm not feeling happy, like, something's just missing. I moved down to Houston, I was overeating, I was depressed, always tired, I was lazy, I was very, very, very sensitive, always crying and not even knowing why I'm crying. Have all these emotions and not really knowing where it's from because from other people looking in, oh, you're so lucky, you have this, you have that, but it really was deep down. I was gaining a lot of weight, you know, I'm on social media all the time. People was like, oh my gosh, are you pregnant? You look big. People in my family saying things like that. And it's just, you know, you get depressed. That happens sometimes. There's just a certain time where you gotta snap out of it and you just gotta get yourself together. That is what happened to me personally. And I just was like, no, I can't do that anymore. This is not how things are supposed to be. I don't like living my life like this. This is not how I want things to go. This literally changed everything for me and just, made me see life in a different light and got me back on my stuff. I believe that after this video, you will wanna get your together. Y'all, I feel so productive. I get so much done, y'all. I'm loving myself. I feel happy in my own skin. I feel confident. I feel like, you know, like it's only up from here. If you can relate to any of these feelings, this video is definitely for you. I know this might be so cliche, but waking up early when i was very depressed i would wake up at like 12 one o'clock two o'clock like i would go to sleep super super late wake up late when you wake up the day is technically over you guys wake up early i'm telling you you get so much done i promise you you will feel so much more productive i get up I make up my bed. That is another thing, make up your bed. You're most likely not going to want to lay back in your bed if it's made up. Take a shower, because once you take a shower, you will wake up. You will just start doing more things and getting more things done. For me, being out of school has, I feel like that was a really a big effect on the way that things changed for me. It's because being in school, Pretty much all your life, you're used to a schedule, waking up at this time, doing this, doing that, doing this, doing that. And it kind of made things kind of weird not having that structure, and it made it hard for me to kind of keep up, which is actually kind of weird, but that's what happened, okay? So people who work from home or not in school like me, it can be hard to stay on schedule, and that's what you need, a schedule. Going to the gym, you need to work out, point blank, period. You don't have to go to an actual gym, but I prefer going to an actual gym because, I don't know, I feel more motivated when you're inside a gym. You're just like, okay, I'm really doing this. And when you go there for a day, you're like, okay. You come back tomorrow, you're like, okay. You do it for two weeks, you're like, oh, I got this. For three weeks, you're like, okay, yeah, that's easy. When you do it for a month, it's you want to keep going back. I promise you, try it. Getting your body moving, walking in the morning, working out Chloe Ting videos. There's so many videos on YouTube. Getting your heart pumping sweating a little bit that actually improves your mood like it just helps you feel better inside and out i'm telling you start doing some movement either if you go to the gym or just go walking start doing something like that and if you wake up early you can do that you see like everything kind of correlates with each other when i was gaining weight as i was overeating like I was bored. I was eating as an emotional support. When I'm sad, I'm eating. When I'm happy, I'm eating. When I'm excited, I'm eating. And I'm not just eating a little bit. I will overeat sometimes. Or I will go a long period of time of not eating and then eating a whole bunch. And that's so unhealthy and that is not good. Because that can really mess with your mental. I encourage you guys to start working out, doing little workouts. You do not have to do a whole bunch. Like, literally, just start off small. Do some jumping jacks. Just get that body moving some. The more you do it every day consistently, you're gonna wanna do more.
prayer i know not everybody believes in god but when i tell you when i gained a relationship with him my life has changed a hundred percent i know it sounds so crazy so cliche and i know a lot of people be like no that's not how it works it does and you just need to do it for yourself like i can't force you to do anything but i can definitely encourage you start praying to god start reading your bible when you start getting that godly word into you you are going to feel something in your heart and it's going it fills that void i feel like that i have everything that i want and i've always prayed about it but like i never had a strong connection with god and so i always just feel like something was missing i was never satisfied with how many followers i had guys i grew over 300,000 followers in like a year on tiktok I grew 50,000 followers in like less than a year on Instagram and I felt nothing. I felt like, oh, this is enough, I have to keep going. Instead of actually being happy. Well, a lot of my um, supporters noticed like, you know, I wasn't commenting any as much. I was just posting and then I would be gone. I was going through a lot mentally. I felt like I wasn't doing enough. When I never took the time to sit down and praise God and be like, oh my gosh, I have this. Like now that I have a relationship with, relationship with God and I'm trying to do everything through his eyes and have a purpose for what I'm doing, my life changed so much. I feel like that void that I was missing is now filled. I love making videos again. There was a time I was like, why am I doing this? I love doing it, but I didn't love what I was doing. And it's because I didn't have a purpose. I didn't know why I was doing it. I was just doing it. Now I feel like I have a purpose and my purpose is to reach and connect with the person who's watching me. I promise you when you start reading your Bible and taking that time to connect with God or connect to other people who are righteous believers, either going to church, joining small groups, your life will change. You will be genuinely happy inside and it will show out and around you and things will change every day I say affirmations to myself and your brain is so powerful but your words your tongue is stronger it's more powerful you speaking positive about yourself that's gonna get you and you know what I'm gonna tell y'all the ones that I've been saying to myself recently as you guys know I'm a content creator I create content I just like to make people happy be real with them and just have them escape from their reality I want to be that scapegoat to some people that big sister to some I'm about to tell y'all some things I've been saying okay? my peace is a blessing my presence is a blessing my energy is expensive and exclusive I am now stepping into the identity of my next level I get paid to exist. My existence pays for itself. And the reason I say those is because a lot of times I always felt like my presence wasn't worthy. I wasn't really important. Like what I say doesn't matter. So my presence is a blessing for people to be able to be around me is a blessing. You know, me posting it, so it's a blessing to me and somebody else. It just makes me feel more confident in myself. See, the more you say it every day and you look at yourself in the mirror, you will believe it because it's true. It's social media. If I personally did not do social media, I would not have social media. Social media is such a dangerous thing, but a lot of people lie. A lot of people want to show you what look good and not show you what it really is. Literally, I did a video. This girl was talking about dropping out of high school to be on OnlyFans and become a stripper because they make a lot of money or they look like they have a great lifestyle. People see what's on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat and think that that's how life is and it's not. It's not reality. People always are comparing themselves which is so unhealthy. You should never compare yourself. Everybody is them themselves for a reason. It also takes up all your time and 30 minutes turns into all day. All day I'm on TikTok looking at people doing dumb stuff. I should be perfecting my craft. I should be reading my Bible. I should be studying for my class. You need to limit your time on social media. If anything, cut it out if there's no reason for you to be on there. But replace that time you spent on social media with something else. Something that you haven't done in a long time that was really fun. Replace that time hanging out with some friends. Enjoy some quality time. Start getting back into things that you truly enjoy. If you are struggling with your mental health, reach out to a counselor. There's so many routes for you to take 
talk to someone, talk to a trusted friend, talk to a trusted adult, talk to someone who can help you. You know, you should never have to hold your feelings in. It's not always easy, especially if you're young or in a household. Trust me, I've been there, I felt the same way. Journaling was a good way for me to do that. It kind of showed me like, okay, writing out my feelings so I'm not holding it all in. Work on your mental health. Do things to make you feel good because when you feel like you look good, you're gonna feel good. When you feel like things are going all right, you're gonna feel good, okay? Start writing stuff down. Start doing that. Like, mental health is really important and it's good for you to talk. Which I believe is one of my favorites. A Sunday night reset. I know there are so many trends on YouTube and, you know, Sunday night reset. No, I don't mean, you know, looking all aesthetically cute and all that. No, I'm talking about a straight Sunday night reset. I am a notebook girly. When I say I write everything down, I write everything down. If you're a procrastinator and you don't do things when you need to, this is a perfect thing for you. You need to get a notebook. You need to write a schedule. On Sundays, write down when you need to go to the store, what errands you have to run, the days you want to go to the gym. If you're a content creator like me, what video ideas do you have? What brands are you working with? Start writing down everything that you need to get done for this week and write little like a box next to it so you can check it off. Especially if you're a visual person, writing it out is going to save you so much trouble and keep you intact and make sure you don't procrastinate because you know exactly what you have to do. You just gotta mark it off and I promise, when you see what you gotta do, you get it done faster. Those are the six things that I changed in my life that has changed me overall and i know if you're someone dealing with laziness or dealing with depression or dealing with you know you just want to get back to being your old self or becoming a new version of yourself especially going into 2024 this is for you do these things i'm telling you your life will change all i can do is tell you guys and show y'all I'm living proof of that. This has changed my life so much, <laughs> like it has. And I'm so grateful to be able to share it with you and I really hope that this helps. So today is the day that you start that journey that you've been waiting to start. I love you guys, I'll see you guys in another video and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!